Hey everyone, and welcome to Corrupted Creations. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. Today, we're diving into how to set up the Feed the Beast quest mod. Because quite simply, hello, ah, uh, quite simply, quests are a very important part of my mod pack, and quite an important part of most mod packs. You've got a whole load of things that you can do with them, such as just having information check marks, um, having rewards for doing simple, something simple, locking it behind heading to different dimensions. But first things first, before we get into that, you have one of two ways of getting into the quest menu. First of all, as I've already shown, you can go up here and just click quests, which opens up the entire uh, quest book. Or if you're feeling extra schnazzy, you can get the uh, actual quest book right here. This is real simple craft, it is literally just a book and some form of stone. So before you go into the quest book, make sure to open up the chat and type in FTB quests editing mode true. Now if this isn't enabled, you won't be able to edit any of the quests. So for example, if I set it to false and go in here, I no longer have the option of adding or removing any of the quests I have. So that has to be enabled for you to do anything. Now when you open the quest book, it will likely show you something that looks like this. Absolutely nothing on the screen, and hello, can I help you? So yeah, when you open the quest book, it will likely show you a completely blank screen with very little on the side. Unless you're playing a mod pack with it all pre-configured, of course. Now over here on the right, there are multiple tabs. So if you hit the add button all the way at the top, which will show two options, chapter group and chapter. Now the difference between the two is a chapter group has this drop down option, which allows you to hide and show any of these chapters that you want to work on. Now we'll get started by adding a new chapter group. We'll call it tutorial, which I've already done here. Now, if you wanted to add a new chapter to it, just type in tutorial or whatever you wanted it to be called, and it's made it just here for you. Now, we'll go into this one, I'll just delete that one real quick, and head down to the tutorial missions. Now, if you wanted to get started with something simple, if you wanted to kill an entity, we'll say zombie, we'll have one zombie, except, and except that, we'll have the reward be iron so we give the player one piece of iron per zombie if you wanted to make this mission repeatable hit edit go in here and it should be right here repeatable quest true now every time i kill a zombie luckily i have got some willing uh, test subjects over here we have dave and Fred in this first section, which are going to be our willing tributes. We'll get a nice netherite sword and we'll enchant it because enchants are cool. Now let's hit Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. That's that chapter complete. And just like that, we can do it again. So sorry about this, Fred. And just like that, we've got it again. So as you can see, if you've got it on repeat, you're able to constantly do this. But if you go back in here, hit settings and disable the repeatable quest option. When you kill it, poor Judy, it's completed forever, which is really, really important difference to learn. Um, hello, zombie. Oh, you're not a zombie. OK, so we've got zombie and not a zombie right next to one another. Now, another important thing to learn about quests is dependencies. So we'll add another one. Kill entity. We'll kill, I don't know, five zombies. And we'll click OK. We will add a reward of wood again. So we'll hit edit, dependencies, kill. One, one times, and Z. So we've got two options here, so I go with this one, enter. 
So I now need to kill five zombies. So that's one. And it shows you the percentage of zombies killed. So 20% out of that one. If I kill not a zombie, you can tell they were lying to me. Um, so we'll go down here to Monster Slayer, Overworld Mobs, and as you can see, it's in action here. So I've killed the one zombie, I've got the XP and the Iron Nugget. We've got the XP and the seven Iron Nugget, so between these two you've got one full piece of iron. And then you've got XP, Iron Nuggets. Now, if you complete this one, which I'm not going to try and do in this episode, you get multiple rewards, so you get 20 XP. Two iron ingots, one carrot, and a zombie plish. Meant to be a plush, but there's so many errors in this mod it's hard to keep track. So one thing I did want to dive into before I ended the video is how important the checkmark option is. So we'll create this called Mine Colonies. We'll have the subtitle of this. Mine Colonies is designed to allow the player to grow a thriving city. Get started now. Voila! So now what we're going to be able to do, we're going to attach an item, say a supply cap, or a supply ship, or either what I would normally do is I would put it in a table, but this is just here for an example. Now we can also have the option of adding a supply cap reward, and if the player gets that, then we get 10 oak logs. Voila. Right, so we're going to right click, edit. Dependency, my colonies, supply cap is this one. Okay, right, so we're gonna click on this one. We'll actually delete this, and we'll have the player get one XP for completing this. And then we have the supply cap. Now, say if we wanted to take this a step further, and we'll attach it to an advanced, for example. So we would right click. We would head to the advancement tab. So for example, I want to use an advancement called Mine Colonies. So we'll go up to the search bar and we would search Mine Colonies. It's one of the two, I'm not too sure which one because there's two for some reason, except. Now, when you get the advancement of Mine Colonies, we will edit and attach this to the Mine Colonies tab. If we wanted to reorganize this, because I don't like how this looks, we can hit move, and we can move that up to there. The ply camp, we can then allow them to, for example, make a build tool, which is something that they find inside of the camp. Now when they get that, we'll give them another 10 oak wood, because let's be honest, my colonies is a very expensive mod, and helping the player is always helpful. And voila, it's buried behind that. So now the player has to get the supply camp. I mean, you have the option of changing it to either or. So supply ship. And then I think it is uh, settings. Now the player has to have either or. So we'll go in here. I'm going to go supply ship. And voila, that's fired off because the player has had one of these. This is where the use of option optional quests come in. So you can set these two as sub-quests so the player has to choose between doing one or the other. Now because we have that one, we can go to the build tool and we've got the oak log. Now let's say if we wanted them to build in a specific location. So we can choose location, Minecraft Overworld, and then we can choose the exact X, Y, and Z position. So the player has to be, for example, on the Y level of 11. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but you know, you can if you wanted to. Um, or if you wanted the player to observe a specific type of block, you can go in here and put cobble stone because there's all these cobblestone blocks, but I don't think there's a single piece of cobblestone anywhere. Voila, and the quest is completed. Very interesting quest, but it's a good way of getting um, 
players to look at specific types of items and things. So that's all I've got time for today. If you did enjoy, I would appreciate it if you liked or and subscribed. I'm a relatively small channel and relatively new, so would appreciate the support. I have a new series coming out next week, so feel free to stick around for that. I will also be uploading a part two of this to go into even further detail, and I will be keeping these videos as short as possible to make sure you are getting information that is interesting and not full of rubbish. So thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Corrupted Creations, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.